Warm the sap, warm the sap. <laughs> This is a photo of me when I was uh, five years old. I was so part of this group called the Jabiru Tappers. My name is Miranda Tapsell. Um, I am an actor, but uh, the beautiful icing on that cake is I am a proud Larrakia Tiwi woman from the Darwin region. I was born in Darwin. I grew up in Jabiru, which is the township within Kakadu National Park. I lived right around the corner from here. I was in very close walking distance. It was a really good place to come and play on the playgrounds and all that sort of stuff. I came here when I was five years old. My dad got a job out here at the Jabiru Town Council, what it was known then, and my mum worked at the school. I left here when I was about 14 to Darwin to go to high school. I'm glad my parents would, would make the effort to take me out to Norlangi and to Jim Jim Falls and the other places in the park because it made me appreciate just enjoying the simple things and not having money to have fun. I wish I had a spiritual connection to this country. Most of the kids that I connected with weren't Indigenous. I made friends with a lot of the miners' kids because, you know, I lived in town. I wish I learnt the language of this area. I wish I, I wish I learnt more about the Dreamtime stories and all that sort of thing. I think that's one thing I do look back and, and wish I did. Through my work in stage and screen and through my study at NIDA, I started to really bond with other Indigenous students at NIDA and they're from all over Australia so they've been able to share their cultural heritage and where they come from. I thought, wow, this has really opened my awareness to just how diverse we are. I think film, television and theatre are just such a powerful way to show the plight of Aboriginal people. I feel that acting has become my culture in a way. I feel like that it's a new form of, of storytelling. It's a nice way to show how Aboriginal people have adapted and evolved into the modern Western world, you know? Because a lot of Aboriginal people have, and I feel that um, that's, that's our way of showing this is how we have survived. This is what's happened to us. And I think people would come out of theatres and they'd come out of cinemas and they'd go, oh, I never, I never thought of Aboriginal people in that light. And that's what was so great about the sapphires. What's his problem? Because we're black, stupid. No, because we're ugly. As soon as I heard that the sapphires film adaptation of, this, of the play was being made, I thought, oh my gosh, I love this play so much. I, oh, what I would give to be in this film. So I sent in a tape. Then I get this call and they say, oh, Miranda, we really liked your audition. Can you come back and audition in the room with us? And that audition process went for eight months, you know? Eight months. That was longer than the film was shot. I got the call from my agent and she said, the producers of The Sapphires, uh, Kylie and Rose, would like to offer you the role of Cynthia. And I said, you better shut up. Like, a real serious one too, like face drop, like, you better shut up, you better not, you better not be lying to me. I wanted to become an actress because maybe I felt that I had something to prove. You know, I was teased for being short at school and also being a proud Larrakia Tiwi woman, but not knowing my language, not knowing my dance, not knowing those cultural things, not being able to pass them on or share them with people. I felt this is my way of connecting with something spiritually, even if, um, even if I don't have something cultural anymore. This is the land of the Larrakia, my people. I've always had a special spiritual connection to this land, even if I didn't even if I didn't grow up here, I thought, this is where I belong. 
My mum can tell me where I'm from. She says, look, this is your land. See this Darwin Regency, all this beautiful harbour set out in front of you? That's your country and that's something that no one can ever, ever take away from you. I am extremely close to my parents and I think that's what comes with being an only child. We get in the car number 15 and we're going along, styling up with all the, everyone else with the, with the Sapphire's entourage. We get into the, we got up to the red carpet and we were ushered to the side because we're not allowed to walk on the red carpet. And we get into the, the palais now and oh, it's just massive. And just to see all the people and at the end of the show to hear that, that um, the, applause. The, applause. the applause, it was just... Standing ovation. We were just choked up and was, tears were just coming down. Eh? Oh, it was just so, we were so proud of our, our daughter, you know? She got there. Oh, it's just fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so proud of you, Dottie. Oh. <laughs> I would like to daydream when I was in those trees, thinking of all the things I'd love to do with my life when I'd leave Darwin and um, all the roles I'd love to play. The stage for me is such a sacred place um, because I don't have that culture there. I, I feel that uh, it is, there's a ritual to coming on stage. I was lucky enough to be in a Belvoir show called Yibby Young. It was the first play I ever did coming out of NIDA. Who would have thought that this little Darwin girl, you know, tapping with the Jabiru tappers would be on a prestigious stage? and a lead role at Belvoir Street Theatre. <laughs>